Hey you guys, your girl Lethea. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be about um, pricing and the process and the journey of my tummy tuck, which is less than 30s away. So before I get started, I would love for you to show some love and hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much. Okay, so into the video. Um, so this is um, starting my first blog into my journey of tummy tuck. So my tummy tuck is May 20th less than a month away like I'm um, just <sighs> come down yes okay so and I apologize you guys because I know on my social media on Instagram I mentioned I was gonna do it like two weeks ago and I have a lot going on so I apologize I'm in the middle of moving I just moved on the first of April and I'm still a student full-time I got finals I got two weeks left so there's a lot of stuff going on so I apologize for the wait but we're here dun, 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 dun. so so before we get into everything it's a little bit about me and why I choose to do a tummy tech and this is not this is just a disclaimer not to justify or to whatever this is my story this is my truth why I decided to do it for myself so I'm a mother of four I'm in my 30s I know baby face I know so I'm a mother of four and um I'm a fitness freak. I've been in the gym forever for the past 10 years since my son, my first son is was born. He's 11. Oh, he'll be 11 next month. So I've been in fitness for a really, really long time. And I was always happy I was able to snap back and look good. It has a little, small, little, you know, little waist, whatnot, and all this, right? So um, I was excited about that. But I did not like that I had stress marks. I have extra skin because I really have a really small frame. So every time I work out, I'll snap back, but I always have this little extra skin. I'll show those pictures in a little bit. But, um, and so after some years, after I have my second, third, and fourth, I'm like, wow, I look good, but I really would love to have the nice, smooth stomach that I had before I had kids. And um, I discovered Tummy Tech about seven years ago. And I've just been in love with it ever since. And I've just been going crazy. And so here we are, four kids later. And so that's a little bit about, about me. I just want to be able to wear a, a bikini or bathing suit or be in a gym with no top on. I mean, sports bra. I got you. I want to be able to be in a gym with a sports bra on, no top, and just work and just feel sexy and just do what I do. Not to feel like I'm always hiding and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. So who is my doctor? My doctor, drumline. <laughs> my doctor is Dr. Medina. Hmm, how I found her. I've been stalking this woman for like two years. Like I'm her stalker. Um, so about two years ago, I really started. Well, I've been looking at the tummy tuck for like four years. I moved to Georgia, and I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find somebody in this area. And I've been looking, 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 looking at Instagrams like that, and I'm like, you know what? I found her on YouTube because um. A couple of her patients, actually a lot of her patients, do videos. So I'm watching, and she, she's the doctor had the most, to me, I found she had the most patients that did videos of their progress before, after doing. And I haven't seen a lot of that for the doctor. Not that they're not good. Don't, don't say that. I'm just saying like, she had the most like feedback, like of people like making videos and posting. I'm like, wow, I can just type in Dr. Medina on YouTube and see her patients talk about this. So, so I like that. So I got to see their before and after, their process, and that really, really excited me. Let me know that it was real. She was legit. So I Googled her, um, her real self. And anyways, Instagram. So I see all her certifications from DR, from America. She got American Association um, licenses. She got a lot of stuff. Like, she is legit. So I'm just, I'm in love with her and her work. Yes. <laughs> so my doctor is Dr. Medina. Um, let me see here. So what else? I've been trying to book her since last year, since two. So what I learned from last year is I, I tried to book her in April. And I called in like March. Hey, I want to book my, my tummy tech from, for April. And she was like, I know we're booked until October 2018. I was like, damn. I didn't have money by then because I'm going to be spending stuff, whatever. So I had to just cut that out. So then, um, so then I knew that she's booked out like six months ahead of time. So then for this year, for my May surgery, I called and booked her way back in October. I was not playing no games with this woman. <laughs> I need that. So I booked her, I called her October or November, put my deposit down and got my date for May. That's how far out she was. So she was booking for April. I said, cool, go and give me off of May then. Make sure I got my date. So I got her for May 20th. So, so yeah. So, and how that works is... 
um, is you you email her, you show her pictures of your body, you tell her what she want, what you want to have done, and then she'll give you an estimate or a quote. And now the quotes change, so my quote be different from yours because it only lasts for three months. So that was like in November I booked. So now it's April. It's probably something totally different because she's she's very very popular. Every month she got you know new clients and her Instagram is growing, so she's really popular. So her her quotes aren't gonna be the same. So she email your quote and give you this whole list of everything that's included. That's like well for me what I'm getting. I'm getting um, a tummy tuck, but liposuction, tummy tuck, and muscle repair. So yeah, then she gives you a quote and tells you everything that's included with that. So with that being said, um, then you have to send a deposit. Um, I don't know what it was before, but for me, it was five hundred dollars. So you send her five hundred dollars deposit, um, which I was really scared of, but I'm, because I've been searching her like to death, I trust and know it's good, and I watch all her YouTube videos of people, and they did the same thing. So. You send the five hundred dollars to her, her bank that holds your deposit. All your other money for the um for the surgery you have to hold on tight because you're gonna give that to her in cash or debit card when you get there before a surgery two days before a surgery. So that's that. So, so my quote is different from other people because well, like I said, they they seem to change every three to four months. Her quotes change. So this is quoted for me in December. And I don't know what it is now, 2019, and this is April. So um, well, what my quote was, was for the surgery, tummy tuck, which is lipo, um, other flanks, um, muscle repair, and tummy tuck. Turn this to and from the airport and to the, the recovery home. So, cause she, she wants you to stay in the recovery home for at least 10 to 12 days or 14 days after surgery to make sure she can test you make sure everything's good you need but have money just in case for her. like i said i haven't been there yet so i have, these spins have not come in my pocket yet but this is what i'm expecting it's like 200 dollars for um for your medication if you can't get some for your doctor it's like 150 for a faha like to cover stage one stage two um there's like 200 dollars for blood in case you need blood transplant a uh, blood transfusion um just fees for different tests you have to run on you for like um um i think it's ekg to see um also tests like your blood clot like all this all kinds of tests that she run to that's also included in, in in the price so when i total up it was between about seven eight thousand dollars give or take because i'm not sure exactly what i would need and what i would not need because some things are like um like i might not need a blood blood test and hopefully not i might need the medication because i'm getting it from my doctor so just little things like that so those can vary so um so so total about that then my plane ticket i already, already booked like three months ago um i did jet blue and that was about 550 ish about 545 50. so that's what i got estimate about eight thousand dollars total so that's the pricing again things might change i got a month from now so i know i'll give more another video afterwards um let me see here so okay so also what i really wanted to have was a t was a tummy tuck and a breast implant but she said no she says too risky too much blood loss she can't do all that so anyways and then she said i have to have a really high iron level to be able to get both so hopefully she says you're gonna get there but anyways in the meantime so since i know i'm anemic and i struggle with that um so i've been taking iron pills so i just started taking this about a month ago now and these are called vitamin code so if you are anemic it's very important that you get your iron levels tested before you go because she's not gonna play against with you if you're not told her up she's not gonna touch you so and there's a couple other um medical, medical complications that she has in the email that you cannot have uh, i think like diabetes some other stuff but what i have is anemia so this is not a no-no but to keep my levels up i've been using these right here and so i took them for like two weeks and i went to the doctor and got my test and it was like 12 on five and i was like yes so we're good so i'm still still take these and i also like these two because they don't make you constipated because people know when you take iron pills you get constipated and these ones right here it says very gentle and it's whole food and it's non-constipating is what it says exactly word for word and they're not the usual tablets they're like a the capsule, you can see the capsule, like a powder form. So I've had no issues um, when I take these. And then also you wanna bring some with you from what I'm seeing on videos um, when you go out there at the surgery because you're gonna be really constipated and need your iron. So take these and take a, you know what. Um. So, and then also, just for myself daily, I still take my daily women vitamins. If you can see that. Okay, so that covers the pricing. So where am I going? I don't know if I mentioned before I'm going to DR. So to DR, I'm so excited because I'm going to be leaving on the 17th. 
and I have like three or four days to kind of kick a little bit, but I cannot drink because I'm going to surgery. But I'm going to spend time, join the family, you know, whatever, 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 have some fun. But my surgery day is May 20th. So I just want to share that with you guys. Um, that's all I have so far. If you're going to book her, book her early ahead of time. You also have to um, get in touch, contact with the... Um, with the recovery home. You go online, they're gonna tell you to go online, um, make your reservation, call them up to know, hey, so I'm coming, make sure you got beds for yourself, da 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 And that's it, that's all I got so far. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little less than a month out, so I'm super, super excited, you guys, OMG. Okay, so now, so, so now, now to good stuff. So then also, um, she told me to bring my favorite bikini um, so that it can be cut low. So I didn't really buy a new one yet, but I'll show what I do have from like last summer. But this is kind of show you what I'm working with right now and what I want to be looking like afterwards. So be right back. Okay, y'all. So this is how I'll be looking. I'll be buying outfits, bathing suits that be like high waisted, like this, like literally everything covered up. And yes, okay, I got Victoria's Secret. She holding me down underneath because you know I need the boob job to that happens. Okay, so I don't have boobs yet. Anyway, so um, I want to be able to not really have to do this, like wear them high as hell, like, okay, that's what I want, okay, yeah. So I want to be able to like this. I want the mustard to be like low, like lower than low. How low can you go? Like low, low, low. Okay, and that's what I want. So this is what my skin looks like underneath. I go all this, yeah, and um, that needs to go. So she said to bring a bikini. That's I would like to have my scar to be underneath. And so I'm going to find the schemes I can find. And see if she can hit that low point like right here. And just be like, okay, I'm doing too much. But yes. <laughs> so this is how I look with, um, yeah. So I'm, hopefully I get the, actually I know I would because my girl is good. She does what she does. So again, this is my journey um, to... A gift to self for me bringing four beautiful adorable beings into this world <laughs> i wouldn't change it for a world i love being a mother um but this is something for me i'm just really excited for it so um yeah so i'm gonna share my journey with you guys hope this video was informative if you guys had any questions um you want me to answer that maybe i forgot or anything um go ahead and put a comment below i definitely make another video and i just hope this really inspires when we've really been thinking about it and um yeah Thanks for watching. Till next time.